the Beatitudes. When we are disillusioned by what life has given us, we're open to the gifts of heaven. Comfort fills the cracks of a broken heart. It's not the treasure pursued and attained by aggression that lasts. The treasure which endures is like a butterfly, alighting on those who know how to be still and wait on the Lord. Food and drink will only fill you for a while. That which feeds you is fleeting. Only righteousness will satisfy your hunger and thirst for life. A life lived showing mercy invites, recognizes, and receives mercy. God is here to be seen right in front of our eyes. If our hearts are pure, our vision will be clear. It's really easy to pick sides. It's exciting to be on the inside of the scandal with the condemning details. But God does not delight in the suffering and confusion of lost people striving in vain to be heard. He rejoices when lost people find each other and feel loved. We have an opportunity to help them find their way to love, just as our Father did by sending our brother, his son. Doing what is right in the wrong place is far better than doing what is wrong in the wrong place. Doing what is right with the wrong people is hard. Doing what is wrong with anybody is harder. Knowing the right thing to do is hard enough sometimes. Don't mess it up when you do know by going the wrong way with the wrong crowd. If Jesus, God's clearest demonstration of love, is maligned, it shouldn't surprise us that we're not always welcome. If love is misinterpreted as anything but the highest good, we shouldn't question our ability to give love, but others' ability to receive love. Even in our disappointment, we have reason to celebrate the honor bestowed on us by sharing in the love and the suffering of those men and women who were examples of the best the world had to offer, the best heaven had to offer. <laughs>